Hello, I'm Frank Hannaway, and welcome to Big Journey, Small Steps. Well, I've been really anxious to make a video for you and let you know what's going on, but I've been really, really, really busy with the what's going on. So uh, my mother moved as of yesterday. Um, today is Wednesday, May the 31st, I guess, and we moved yesterday late in the afternoon to an assisted living facility with six beds and um, there are two nurses for six patients all during the day. I think late at night there's only one, but that's certainly fine with six people. The, the uh, owner is lovely. The employees are just precious. It is more than I could have hoped for. Um, my mother was excited about going, but somehow I missed it that she thought that she and I were both moving in. Um, and so today she's been playing me a little bit and trying to put the guilt trip on me. But, um, and it is hard because I got home yesterday and I thought, oh my Lord, I've put my mother in a home which is something I never wanted to do. That's the old way, and it's certainly not anything like the picture I have in my mind of what nursing homes used to be, where people just laid in bed mostly unattended and uncared for and got bed sores. So this is a lovely place. She has a window that looks out in the garden in the backyard. They have tomatoes growing and mangoes and all just all kind of things growing back there. And uh, I've taken her, uh, I took a little electronic keyboard over there and um, she sat down today and started reading out of the sing-along book and playing some from memory. And we sat down and sang and played together. And um, I also now I'm able to take her iPad again so she can play solitaire. It's really amazing what she can do considering her vocabulary is so limited now she calls a lot of nouns by the color they are uh, she would tell me in um, she would tell me in rehab that she ate the white stuff and the yellow stuff the white stuff was oatmeal and the yellow stuff was eggs and so she would tell me i ate all my white stuff and half the yellow stuff um, but she can still play solitaire she can still play the piano, play the keyboard, and she adapted to the keyboard. She hadn't played the keyboard in a long time. Um, it's been about a year and a half since we used it, as a matter of fact, and it has terrible action. It's just a very inexpensive one. Um, it, I, I have a nice weighted keyboard, but um, the reason we bought this little one was so that if we were ever in a situation where we needed to play and we needed to just throw something in the car, its main characteristic was it sounded okay, it's a little Yamaha, and it was lightweight, light enough that she could carry it or I could carry it when we got it. So anyway, that's in her room. She has pictures of my brother. She has a DVD player with uh, my brother singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and we watched that. I'm able to put pictures up in her room. And when she relaxes, it will be home. And um, so anyway, she's healthy right now. She's gotten incredibly strong. She told me last night she had a horrible night. And I said, why? And she said, because my feet were cold. And I said, did you ask someone uh, to help you? And she said, no. And so we worked on how to ask for help today, which is very easy. You, you can't, it, it's a... It's a home, it's a house, it's, it was a house, and it's built around the kitchen, so there are two bedrooms on one side of the kitchen, and then space, I guess there are, I don't know how many private rooms there are, my mother, I got my mother a private room, I knew that would be nice for us, we're a little bit loud when we start singing and stuff, um, so anyway, um, it's just really nice. So the nurses are mostly in the kitchen or, or in the living room. It's all right there. 
and it's spacious, but it's it's not it's not intimidating. And yesterday when we got there, one of the workers has a little Shih Tzu dog, and my mother loved that. And um, so anyway, I think when we get her settled here, um, settled in the new place, life will start to look up for both of us. Um, this is the new set for Sissy Soup. I didn't get a chance to iron or steam the backdrop, so if you see a wrinkle, don't come griping to me. I just barely had time uh, um, to come run in here and make this video. I'm not going to edit it or anything. I just wanted to keep everybody up to date. And um, so anyway, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your love and support. From the bottom of my heart, I wish you peace and joy.